They are Earth's largest land mammals, carrying tusks like swords, trunks with the strength of a crane, and hearts as ancient as time. But few know that elephants are survivors of an epic evolutionary saga, one that began not on land, but in the depths of warm prehistoric oceans. A journey across 55 million years, from dog-sized swamp walkers to woolly giants that walked beside humans. From the shores of Egypt to the freezing tundras of Siberia. This is the untold story of Earth's most astonishing giants. This is the evolution of elephants. Our story begins in what is now northern Africa, 56 million years ago. The world is hot. Forests stretch to the poles. The age of dinosaurs has ended. And in the warm marshes lives a small, semi-aquatic creature, Moritherium. Weighing around 200 kilograms, this mammal looked like a pig or small hippo. It fed on soft aquatic vegetation. It had broad feet and a powerful jaw. But inside its DNA, something ancient stirred the blueprint of an elephant. Though it had no trunk and no tusks, Moritherium is considered the earliest known ancestor of modern elephants. Its teeth and skull reveal secrets of something far greater to come. As climates changed and land rose from the sea, Moritherium's descendants adapted. By 35 million years ago, the Earth gave rise to a new creature, Paleomastodon. It had a short, muscular trunk and early tusks, small, curved, and functional. Then came Phyomia, living around 30 million years ago. It had both upper and lower tusks, and its skull was becoming unmistakably elephant-like. These animals were larger, more mobile, more social. They began venturing into dry forests, plains, and riverbanks. The trunk evolved from a fused lip and nose into an incredible multi-tool. The tusks, once simple teeth, became weapons, excavators, and symbols of dominance. The first signs of the modern elephant had begun to take form. As the continents shifted, these ancient elephants, or proboscideans, spread far and wide. Some grew huge and powerful, others remained small. Some thrived in tropical wetlands, others adapted to deserts. In time, one branch would evolve into the Gomphotheres, vortusked elephants that would cross into the Americas. Others would become the towering, strange Dinotheres, elephants with tusks that curved downward from the lower jaw, possibly used to dig roots. By 20 million years ago, over 160 species of elephant ancestors roamed the planet. Their size, shape, and diet were as diverse as their geography. But this era of expansion would soon face its harshest test. Roughly five million years ago, Earth began to cool. Glaciers advanced. Seasons became extreme. Survival meant adaptation. From the cold emerged a new line of elephants, the mammoths. They weren't just large, they were armored for the cold. Woolly coats up to three feet thick fat reserves for insulation, tusks spiraling nearly 15 feet long. The woolly mammoth roamed the freezing tundra from Europe to North America. Meanwhile, the Colombian mammoth, even bigger, ruled the southern plains of what is now the U.S. These giants lived alongside early humans. They were hunted. Around 10,000 years ago, something dramatic happened. The mammoths began to disappear. First in Europe, then Asia, then America. Scientists still debate the cause. Climate change? Overhunting by humans? A few held on. A tiny population of woolly mammoths survived on Wrangell Island. Isolated, miniature, and doomed. By 4,000 years ago, they were gone. Only three elephant species survive. The last living threads of a mighty family tree. African savanna elephant, the largest of all, up to 14,000 pounds. African forest elephant, shy, elusive, with straight tusks and denser forests as home. Asian elephant, slightly smaller, more intelligent, used in human culture for centuries. 
all share the gifts of their ancestors. Immense strength, incredible memory, and that evolutionary masterpiece, the trunk. Each trunk contains over 40,000 muscles. It can pick up a tree or pluck a blade of grass. But elephants are more than physical marvels. They are thinkers, feelers, rememberers. They recognize themselves in mirrors. They mourn their dead. They show compassion, loyalty, and joy. In every herd, knowledge is passed down by matriarchs, the wise old leaders. It's not just instinct, it's culture. Today, scientists are working to unlock elephant DNA and even attempting to resurrect the woolly mammoth using gene editing. Why? To restore lost ecosystems, or maybe just to undo what we erased. But more urgently, modern elephants face extinction too, from poaching, habitat loss, and climate change. Will they become myths too? Or can science and humanity change their future? But it raises big questions. Should we bring back the past? If we haven't protected the present? Could mammoths adapt to a world that's no longer theirs? And what happens if it works? It's not science fiction anymore. It's happening now. For thousands of years, our stories have intertwined. Elephants fought in ancient wars, carried kings, and became symbols of wisdom, memory, and power. In India, they're sacred. In Africa, they're guardians of the land. In temples, forests, zoos, and sanctuaries, they live alongside us, because of us, and despite us. But this bond is fragile. Human-elephant conflict rises as wild spaces shrink. Yet communities are finding ways to coexist through conservation, education, and empathy. We are no longer just observers in the elephant story. We are characters in it. What we choose next will decide whether they remain legends or living beings. From the swamps of ancient Africa to the glaciers of the Ice Age, from forgotten fossils to towering giants, the story of the elephant is not just evolution, it's survival, it's adaptation, it's life's unbreakable will. They are not just animals, they are living legends. And their next chapter is up to us. If the story of Earth's greatest giants inspired wonder, then help keep their legacy alive. If extinct creatures fascinate you, you're in the right place. Subscribe Just Imagine World. And this is only the beginning.